Well, good morning, fellow YouTubers and shooters. It's Tuesday, 3rd of January 2013, so I'll start off by wishing you all a very happy new year. We've got a break in this bloody wet weather we've been having recently. Uh, so I've, I've decided to do a video that I've been meaning to do for a while on a set of tripod shooting sticks I made. Very cheap to make, dead easy, um, and they fit all the criteria that I wanted. Now, I've tried uh, bipod shooting sticks. I found them a bit awkward unless you use an anchor cord to keep them stable with your foot from the crossover on them. That can be difficult if you lamp. I tried quad sticks, which I know are by far the most stable of all, uh, but I personally found them a bit difficult to set up and, and get on with. So, the criteria that I had was I wanted a set of sticks that were very stable, regardless of how uneven the ground was. I wanted them to be able to rotate the gun on through a full 360 degrees for when I'm lamping. And I also wanted them telescopic, so they fit in the boot of my car, and that they could be used for both the sitting, kneeling position, as well as the standing position. So, without too much of a, an ado, I'm going to quickly show you uh, the materials I've used. I used three telescopic washing line, clothesline props. Started off, I just cut the hook off that normally takes a washing line and I cut them down here to about one metre in length. That way they fit in the car and they're the right, they will extend to near enough two metres. The only other things I used was I used a small T gate hinge like that. Uh, I bought a pair of them off eBay. I think they cost me something like three pounds, including postage. And a rollock off a boat. Now, I opted for the side mounted rollock for reasons which will become apparent later. These will turn a full 360 degrees. And obviously, a couple of small nuts and bolts to hold it all together. So, his sticks that I made. The way that I've done them, I started out by lining the holes on the T piece. These three holes, I drilled them out that way, drilled them out there so that we could bolt them. That then gives you your swivel for the third leg. The next thing I did was to drill through the extension piece of the clothes prop uh, just here about a half an inch down and I drilled it out to something like a 3 16th quarter inch hole. What I've done then show you on the actual shooting sticks I've put a bolt through each of them one through there into that one and one through there through that one these then are fitted with a lock nut a nylock nut that way you've got it so you can open the legs up uh, rather like so. This will give you your height, which I'll show you afterwards, uh, for sitting or kneeling, the more you open the legs up, or of course, you can unscrew them and get the height for standing shots. For the time being, I'll deal with the, the sitting or kneeling shots. Now the third leg, which is on this part, of the T hinge, I drilled one hole there 
and another one there. And again, using a small bolt with a nylon nut, bolted that, that on tightly so there's no flexing. Just to save uh, them clattering together or anything when I'm carrying them, I used a bit of 15mm uh, pipe insulation foam, one on each leg there, towards the bottom, held on with just a bit of um, waterproof duct tape, and the same up here. That way you can carry them very easily with one hand if you've got your rifle slung over your shoulder or you've got a free hand to carry your rifle. Now then, I'm going to have to move the camera now and show you how they how they set up. It is very easy and very quick, so bear with me and I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, setting them up. If you want them in the kneeling position, it's quite easy if you want to use them in the kneeling position you don't bother extending the legs all you do spread them out that way and there you go they're rock solid you can alter the angle by moving the third leg nearest to you backwards or forwards to get your height if you're on any ground you can twist it that way or that way which will give you still an upright position for, for the fore end of your gun to rest in just there. That will suffice for sitting or kneeling. I mean I'm only a little short ass, barely five foot six. I'm in kneeling and that's a perfect height for me. Sitting would be exactly the same. So I'll just alter the camera again and show you for standing. Okay, for a standing shot, it's quite simple. One, two, three, and there we have it. Perfect with the rifle on there for your standing shot, and of course, it will rotate a full. 360 degrees. I've actually had time to check the test series and use them in the field. They are very stable to the extent that I can still shoot my 243 from them and pull very very close on to an inch group of 100 yards. That's something that I could not manage to do quite as accurately um, with the bipod sticks. So there we go. Total price to make these up. I think it costs well under £10. And you've got a very versatile, lightweight pair of the set of uh, tripod sticks. Lovely stable position to shoot from. And of course, cut down. You can see the length of them there. They fit in the...